Sagittarius, welcome to your money and career reading for March moving into April. I'm Robin Perlion for Robin's Authentic Wellness. Let's see what spirit has in store for you. I meant to say Robin's Authentic Tarot, which is under Robin's Authentic Wellness. Ooh, that's amazing. There you go. That's awesome. Okay. You have the Empress. So this is your energy. This is so beautiful. Taking action. This is what the Empress means. You have that nurturing energy. So for your career, for your finances, for whatever that is, that nurturing. So really putting extra attention into what it is that you want to accomplish. So taking that action, taking that extra time to really focus and really put yourself into whatever it is that you are doing. It's really going to pay off. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So this one here is the five of pentacles. This one is showing up as your challenge. So we're going to get back to this one. I want to see what else comes out. But here, as your challenge, this shows up as, um, okay, so this is a, this is a transition. It's showing up as a, as a, as, as um, it, it, you're challenging it or something is challenging. So kind of feeling left out in the cold is what it represents. And that's coming as a challenge. So sorry, let me just kind of go back there a minute. Transition. So feeling out of the cold means you will no longer be feeling that way. I already have things that are coming up as to why you still may feel that you are and why this is coming up as a challenge. Sagittarius, there when you grow, when you advance, you can find when you rise up that people don't unite around you because there could be feelings of jealousy, um, envy, and unfortunately, we're all going to go through that at some point in our lives. And so please don't allow that to be any sort of reason why you... Um, shrink yourself and not allow yourself to shine as you should. So that right there is about, it's about shining. And so please, um, because it is a five, it is a transition. So obviously it, it can definitely um, be something that yes, you can, but uh, like the, the self-worth, self, -worth, self um, self love, focus on, focus on you, focus on your happiness, focus on your goals and don't worry about anyone else. Okay. So in this, um, energy that we're in, so we're in the Pisces energy for the birth month, but overall energetically, the era that we're in is the age of Aquarius. So we're in Aquarian energy and Aquarius, does not care what people think. Aquarius is creative. Aquarius is innovative. So thinking of all of the positive characteristics that Aquarius has, there's a lot of creativity and innovation. There's a lot of growth. There's a lot of independence. There's a lot of, um, I am moving to the beat of my own drum and it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks because you're achieving things. But when you align to the energy, Sagittarius, when you allow yourself to really, really kick off the people that are um, not wishing you well, and when you allow the people and you see the people, because sometimes there's those people that you, your heart aches because you're like, I wish you could come with me, but it's not their time yet. It's your time, Sagittarius. It's your time to move your fire energy. So March 20th, your sister sign 
Aries is starting the new astrological cycle again. This is so exciting. I am so excited about this. Like it's already the momentum is already like, oh, it's so cool. Anyway, so I'm really excited about that. You should be too. Really focus, really allow yourself to um, write a list down. I had some feedback from someone else that, because I always say 10 intentions. So when we had the new moon in um, Pisces not too long ago, someone was saying 10 intentions, that's a lot. I was like, oh, okay. So it's up to 10 intentions. If it's five, if it's two, whatever your goals are, write your goals down. And the only reason I say 10 is to not get overwhelmed. That, that's, that's the whole reason behind that. So when you write your intentions down, when the spring equinox comes, redo your intentions or do your intentions now or whenever you're re or, uh, seeing this, this reading. So do your intentions and make sure that you're always looking at those intentions, always looking at those goals and like always have them top of mind all the time. That is how growth starts. That's how it continues. So you are really, really set up. I've only pulled two cards, but I can already tell what your energy is going to be for this month of March moving into April. So you have your belief card here. So I did pull this while I was still talking about that one. This one is there are new opportunities that are happening. So things that you're currently working on, showing them off, um, showing people like um, producing them, producing them as in, yeah, showing them off. Um, I can't even think launching, launching. So launching what it is that you've been doing, uh, putting it out there or something that you're starting. There could be some sort of promotion. There could be some sort of leveling up. So there definitely is some sort of leveling up because there is this beautiful Empress energy, really lush. So it has all of the chakras in there. It has the foundational energy, the root chakra. It has the sacral chakra. So that's relationship to yourself, your self-worth, your self-love, your money, your abundance, how you attract that to yourself. That is your career. That is just like the joy, the happiness, the excitement of how you visualize yourself. And then this one here, this is the fire energy, Sagittarius, this is you, all of that yellow there. That's that solar plexus energy. That solar plexus is you igniting that fire within, you allowing yourself to shine, shine so, so bright, really showing up for yourself and really allowing yourself to whatever project, whatever you're working on, whatever it is in your career, in your entrepreneurial business, if you have like a new course or something like that that's coming out, put it out there and be so proud and congratulate yourself. So there's a lot of things anyway. So new things, new things, new offers. This is money. This is abundance. Okay. Loving it now. Ooh. All right. So now you have your root. Now understanding this one a little bit better the root so the root of everything you have your energy strength it's infinite you also have the tower so with the tower i love the tower the tower is my energy i'm scorpio so this tower it talks about how things are falling into place all right. So there's some sort of dismantling, dissolving of something that's not or wasn't working. So you're either leaving something, you're leaving some position, something is happening that is removing itself that could have been removed a while ago. But sometimes we don't hear it. We don't feel it. We don't sense it. We don't we don't listen, you know, and uh, we're all, um, we all have that happen. We all have that experience that we go through. So there's something that is needed to fall apart, to fall into place. So please know that. Please know that whatever it is, 
don't try and patch it back up. Don't try and, and keep something going that is not supposed to be going because there is something better. There's something new happening. So you have this amazing strength. You have that strength that you could tame a lion, allowing yourself to know how strong, how confident, how much willpower you have within yourself. Present energy for Sagittarius. Let's see. All right. That's amazing. Now, this is it. This is that amazing fire energy of the knight or what I like to call the warrior. So that warrior, that warrior energy, this is mindset. So this is communication. This is your third eye chakra. This is your crown chakra. So the air energy, which aligns with the age of Aquarius. So this is really moving fast. So whatever it is, those ideas, those ideas, those, um, oh gosh, um, I'm seeing it in my head, brainstorming, brainstorming. I'm seeing like a cloud, you know, where you come up with your ideas and stuff like that. So anyway, brainstorming, all sorts of ideas. Allow yourself to receive those because what that is, is messages. Those are messages. And I currently just went through that. I currently just experienced that. So I am a psychic medium, but I am... I, I am I am not always listening. I am and especially for myself. So I it, it's always that way, you know, whatever trade we're in, whatever we do, you know, we can we can give people better advice than we give for ourselves. So what I'm saying is, yeah, like I've missed so many things and so many messages. And so it's kind of what that means there, this tower is that there's there's been some times when you haven't listened and so something just needs to be taken out of um your path and it's going to be replaced with something new all these ideas all the brainstorm something new something really exciting happening quick 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 so that's the energy the energy the present energy is things are happening very fast but that warrior energy this is like conquering so anything that's getting in your way any obstacles you're like nope not today not today not happening you're really focusing on what it is that you want to get done and you're doing it and you just don't have time for anything else. I love that. Perfect. Okay, so. I love that this is your future. This is the star card. And the star card naturally comes after, I hope I'm doing that right. Yeah, right, okay. Anyway, <laughs> so this tower card, this comes after it in the deck, okay? So that is the root, this is the future. This is amazing. This is beautiful balance you have all of that support. The stars are shining down on you. You are a star. In this beautiful, it's so amazing because there's all this lushness, there's all that water, there's all that land, there's all that air, all of these stars. It's like that complete card, which is such a beautiful card. And so this is representing that dreams come true. So you have a very, very positive and prosperous future ahead of you, Sagittarius. That is so exciting. Um, when I just put that down, there's that, there's that growth, there's that bird right there. Freedom. Mm, I love that. 
your internal energy. That's brilliant. So there is that new fire energy that is igniting within you. So new offers, new things that are quickening. Things are going to be getting a lot faster. If, I mean, you may feel that things are getting uh getting a lot faster so the momentum is really building up so with new things that are happening there is a new faster pace to that that's your internal energy your internal energy is yes like that's how you're going to um it's like things have switched switched gears that's that's what i'm feeling Things are really going on a new course and that's what this is all about. This tower, it whatever it is, it's like the old is out, the old is gone. So however this resonates because it is a general reading, but like that's brilliant. That is so brilliant. So yes, some people could be feeling it sting a little bit more and then it could be, you know what, it was time anyway, it was time you have that strength, you have that warrior energy, you have that beautiful balance, you are a star, dreams come true future with that new momentum that's building up, that new budding energy, that's really, really exciting. This is such an amazing, exciting reading, really putting it in because you are going to be so successful. Wow, it's all happening, yep, and there you go. That's awesome. So this one is the external energy. And what was I saying before? With the Aquarian energy, you don't want to be listening to the naysayers, right? You are stepping at the beat of your own drum. So with this feeling here that you're feeling maybe not supported, maybe you're not feeling seen, maybe you are feeling sad because you're moving up, other people aren't. There's all sorts of feelings with this one, Sagittarius. And this one here is all of that mindset, all of that communication, okay? That's all gone. What this means, this is this is really brilliant. I know it does not look appealing at all because it's talking about the the energy, the old, oops, not the old energy is deader than dead, which is a very good thing because you don't want the old stagnant mindset. You don't want that old communication. It's new. We're starting new. We're starting new on March the 20th. This is so beautiful. It's so exciting. We have all, it's like a new year. So your intentions, your thought processes, everything is transforming into something new. This is beautiful. This is so exciting. This is awesome. I love it. I love this. Completion. Completion. I wish you could feel, I hope you can feel what I feel because this, this is so amazing. It's such an incredible feeling. I see it. I feel it. You have it all right here. You have all of this newness. This is a new transition for you. You're really shifting gears. You're moving up into a higher energy. Really leveling up. Oh my gosh. Here you go. So this is hopes, dreams, and fears. Now, situational energy, you have the Empress. Then you have, look at this. It's like that power team. Now you have the emperor, both fire energy. This one here, making those quick decisions, really feeling confident within yourself. Now there is that fear aspect, okay? So why the situation here? So that situation is like, this is what's happening. That action needs to be taken, right? So then there is the fear aspect where there is, you want to harness that strength. You want to harness that strength. So that fire energy, you've got so much supportive fire energy, but that fear, it's, it's that mindset. So you're allowing that mindset to go. You are pumping yourself up and you're saying that this time around, 
There is no doubting myself. I'm going, I believe in myself. I'm making the moves, I'm taking the action and I'm just full on. And that's what this is. So the hopes and the dreams. Dreams come true. I love that. Oh my gosh. This is such an incredibly a powerful reading. This is like, you're creating your success. You're creating your momentum. Like things are going to be attracted to you. Um, in fact, as I'm doing this reading, I had something that was attracted to me. Um, a new client. So it was, it was really amazing. I just believe in yourself, believe in the process, believe in spirit, believe in what the universe is trying to teach you and show you allow those tower moments, receive that strength. So allow yourself to be open to receive that strength. So that's what it all is. It's, it's allowing yourself, believing in yourself, that, that you can do this stepping out of that comfort zone. It's so funny that there's like, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this as it's coming to me. And it's also like, I'm actually taking it as a reading myself because stepping out of the comfort zone, there's new things that I'm doing that I have expressed to people that I'm like, wow, like I have to step out of my comfort zone. And I kind of feel scared about doing it, but I have to do it. So I have to keep practicing and I have to put myself out there. So that's what you have to do, Sagittarius. No matter what it is, no matter if it's a presentation that you have to do, whether it is a course that you are starting or that, sorry, that you are teaching or whatever it is, however, like your creative ability, that's really coming out. And right now, while we're in this Pisces energy, like just eat it up, like receive, 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 because it's so creative. We're in this intuitive, beautiful water energy, like really like allow yourself to soak it in. Say universe, like let me be open to receive all of this creative energy. And then as we're moving into that fire energy, like the momentum is building. It's so exciting. Like like write down your intentions, write down your goals, what it is that you are going to be doing within the rest of this month. What actions are you taking? What new things are happening? What are you creating? What do you want to create? And write all that stuff down, like make it happen, make it happen. Okay, so you have your completion card here and this one, um, I love it, it is the moon. And so this represents that water energy that we're currently in. The moon is a direct correlation with your career. I love this. I love this so much. Um, so such strong, strong cards. Now you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there is 10 placements, you have six major arcana. There's a lot of things that are happening for you. The momentum is happening. Whatever it is that you are creating, whatever it is that you are working on, getting a new promotion at work, there is that definite leveling up. Be really excited, get really pumped up. This is your time, Sagittarius. So this is you. Allow yourself to go along this path in between these two pillars here. Anytime you're entering in between two pillars or even like going through a doorway, that's that you're moving into something new. You're walking through something and you're going into this new experience. You're walking in the doors of success, of possibilities, of all sorts of creation that you create for yourself. Oh, this is amazing. So um, this is water. So this is sacral chakra again. So like just as strong as the Empress. A little bit more emotional, <laughs> but again, we are in the Pisces energy. So look at that. There's that, that 
fire energy, that water energy, um, but both representing sacral chakra, both representing the uh, lower three chakras, which is the, the solar plexus, the sacral chakra, and the root chakra. So this one um, with the pillars there, really focusing on attracting things to you, belief. Belief is huge, happiness, joy, sacred chakra. I call it a doozy of a chakra just because there is so many layers to the sacral chakra. So that it's career, it's career, taking action, career, new beginnings that are happening. You have two pages here. You have something new that's happening with your wealth, with your money. And you have that new energy that's going to lead you through. You have the power couple. That's outstanding. That is really, really incredible. Allow yourself to transition. Please allow yourself to um, let go of the people, places, and things that might be making you feel maybe a little bit guilty. Um, but don't, don't feel that way about your success. Okay. You may feel something you've achieved something and other people just may not have the well wishes. Unfortunately, like I said, we are all going to encounter that at some time, but we keep going up. We align with other people. So there's always going to be supportive people always, but always focusing on you, focusing on your growth, focusing on how you are supporting yourself, how you're taking care of yourself, how you're putting yourself first, because when you put yourself first, then you can support and take care of all of the other people that are around you. This is such an amazing, like incredibly like high voltage, <laughs> high voltage reading. This is amazing. This is awesome energy. This is really exciting. I'm taking this for myself. I am like so incredibly pumped up from this reading. The cards spell it out perfectly. There's all that momentum. There's all that creativity. There's all of that action. So this is your time writing down your intentions. You know what to do. You feel what it is you want to do. There's all like it just attract, attract. There's so much sacral chakra in here. Attract, attract it to you. Thank you so much for showing up for yourself. Thank you for showing up and listening to me. And thank you for supporting my channel. I thank you so much. I love you all. Mwah.